Jeff Owens, and I'm joined today by Reed White for today's SceneDaily.com debate. And we're here today to talk about the top three guys in the current point standings. Jeff Gordon, Clint Boyer, and Kurt Busch are the top three, Reed. And I think you would uh, agree that all three have been a little bit of a surprise this year. The question is, after four races, are these three guys for real? I think that... That definitely Jeff Gordon is. I think people expected Hendrick Motorsports' Jeff Gordon to step up a little bit this year. I don't know if they expected him to come out of the gate quite as well as he has. I mean, Gordon is obviously very committed and very focused to getting this car under control and to getting his team back into top form. Yeah, and I, so far he's done that. Yeah, I, I don't think it's any surprise at all to see Jeff Gordon back up at the top of the point standings. Everybody knows this guy is one of the greatest drivers of all time. He had a little bit of an off year last year, but I think that's all it was. I think it was a matter of them just not being able to get a quick handle on this new car like Jimmy Johnson and Carl Edwards and Kyle Busch and some of the others did. I think they finally figured that out and he's up there you know he's not leading the points because he's had three or four top tens he's up there leading laps he's got two runner-up finishes I think he's going to win a race pretty soon and it would not surprise me to see him at the top of the point standings most of the year how about Clint Boyer See, a lot of people seem to be more surprised by Clint Boyer's success than I personally am because Boyer moved over to the fourth RCR team he has a new crew he has a new crew chief with Shane Wilson and people didn't know how quickly that would mesh together. But Clint has been exceedingly con consistent this season. He has three top ten finishes in four races. And he's, he's doing what he normally does. He just gets a little bit better and a little bit better over the course of a race. Mm -hmm. And he and, and Wilson seem to understand one another and to be able to take a car that may not be as competitive and get it better over the course of a race. Yeah. I, I am quite surprised that Clint Boyer has done this well. I'm one of the guys who thought that they would struggle a little bit this year because he's got a completely brand new team. He made the chase two years in a row, and then they take his entire team and his crew chief and everybody away from him and build a brand new team. And I think everybody expected them to get off to a slow start, and they haven't. And I think that tells you a lot about Clint Boyer and also about Richard Childress Racing and the strength of that organization. Uh, I'm not so sure they can stay up there. Um, Clint's been a little bit up and down over the last couple of years. Uh, I think he's a good driver. I think he can win races, and I think that team is pretty solid. I'm not sure they're going to be a second-place team in points all year. I think they're probably going to fade a little bit, and, uh, you know, I, I think they got a shot at making the chase, but uh, I'm just not sure they're the second-best team out there right now. Kurt Busch, boy, he has been a huge surprise, uh, not only just getting off to a, a strong start, but... That performance at Atlanta was pretty amazing, and now we go to a track that's his favorite track. He's won five races there. Uh, I think we find out this weekend whether or not he's for real, and not, you know, I personally think he is. I think that, that Kurt Busch is an incredibly talented driver, and I think he's got a good team around him. But you got to wonder, with Kurt doing so well, but Penske overall is not. And you have to wonder if at some point that's going to take a little bit of a toll on that lead team that's out there running ahead of the pack. So I don't know if they can keep a top five points pace going over the course of the summer. Yeah, yeah, that team has certainly been down uh, the last two or three years. They haven't won many races, and all of a sudden they they look really, really good. The key thing for me is where they've really, really struggled the last couple of years has been on the 1.5 mile tracks, and they just went out and blew everybody away at Atlanta. Uh, that leads me to believe that maybe they are back. But uh, we'll see. You know, Kurt should be a favorite at Bristol this weekend, and then we'll see what happens uh, going forward. But uh, certainly been a little bit of a surprise. That's it for today on SceneDaily.com. Thanks for joining us.